uh, rematch, uh, we should ask uh, boxing fans, do they want this rematch? Yes. If they want, I, yes. I would like to give uh, this rematch and I would like to get this chance. What up? Being that I was the last unified undisputed champion, probably about 25 to 40 years ago, I don't know how long it was. Last night we had a very fantastic fight. A fight that I thought could have gone either way, uh, but you know, what happens, happens. However it goes, nobody won nor lost the fight by four points. So that's ridiculous, which is why I say we need an immediate rematch. Both guys but I find it sickening that after a lifetime of hard work, Dimitri Bivo is not undisputed champion tonight. He won that fight. I struggled to find anybody on our road, a road behind, on the, the TV rows, who didn't score the fight to Dimitri Bivol. Professional boxer Dimitri Bivol calls for an immediate rematch after getting battered by Archer Baterbiev last Saturday night. Meanwhile, boxing supporter Turkey Alal Sheikh said that he had not witnessed such an incredible fight in the last 20 years, but he also claimed that the decision wasn't fair. Arta gets the decision. What do you make of it? Eddie Hearn not happy. No, no, I don't think it's it. It is, it is one of the great fight I ever I see in the last at least 20 years, okay? Fantastic. But, but I don't think the, the result is fair. Artur Baterbiev's controversial win over Dmitry Bivol left a sour taste in the mouths of many, including Turkey Alal Sheikh. Many fans and boxing analysts alike have expressed their anger on the decision of the judges. Furthermore, Turkey Alal Sheikh commented on the fight. Both fighters are like my brothers, but I think Bivol won two rounds more. I don't know why the result is like this, but in my opinion, I will focus and I will try to do the rematch. They deserve it, they deserve it. If they accept, we will do it. On the other on the other hand, Bivol's promoter Eddie Hearn shared that he has also witnessed one of the best fights in many years, and he respects Artur Baterbiev and his team, but Artur only went the distance because of Bivol's skills as a boxer. We saw a guy that had never gone the distance before, the biggest monster in the sport, and we saw one of the purest boxers, one of the most skillful fighters I've ever seen. And I don't want to... Uh, disrespect Arthur better be having his team because they're just incredible fighters. Eddie Hearn was all in for the idea of a rematch since he believed the decision was highly controversial. Hearn shared, There has to be a rematch because Artur Baterbiev, there is always going to be the controversy of that fight, and he is a true champion. What other fight is there for Artur Baterbiev? The whole world wants to see that again. Moreover, Eddie commented that the results that were scored were just unfair, and it doesn't make sense to give Bivol just four rounds. Eddie Hearn sounded off when he accused the judge and told him that he should return retire from judging this sport. But I find it sickening that after a lifetime of hard work, Dimitri Bivo is not undisputed champion tonight. He won that fight. I struggled to find anybody on our road, a row behind on the, the TV rows, who didn't score the fight to Dimitri Bivo. To find a judge, give that fight 116-112 and give Dimitri Bivo four rounds in that fight, this judge should never work in the sport again. On the other hand, the undisputed champion Artur Baterbiev fired back on Eddie Hearn for saying that Bivol should have won the fight. Artur feels lucky that he has won the fight since Dimitri was the first fighter to give him such a tough time. They want, they, they can do what they do, no problem. <laughs> Eddie Hearn always talk about me, not good. Talk to me a little bit about how you felt in that fight. He's the first guy to to bring you the distance? I don't know. I can say he's lucky or me lucky because I won this fight. <laughs> but Terbiev shared the real reason why Eddie Hearn talks bad about him when he said, maybe it's because now it's the third guy from Eddie Hearn who I beat. Maybe that's why he complains always about me. Even before the fight, Eddie Hearn called Artur Baterbiev arrogant, so in return, Baterbiev blasted Hearn. Artur even said that he would fight Hearn because he talks a lot. If you would like to address a comment that you, you have made about Artur Baterbiev, being arrogant. I think you also said that you can get under his skin and rattle him. Uh, give us an update on how that's going and, uh, and give us your thoughts. Thanks, Dev. Um, did I say that? I can't remember. Um, I think he's arrogant. I think I think all fighters are arrogant. I think you have to be arrogant. You want to make fight with uh, Eddie? No? Yeah, uh, he called you arrogant. Why you do that? It's, he called it's you really arrogant? Can be. It really can be, but I, I can 
do something, you know? Why you... Don't worry, don't worry about me. Yeah. On the opposite end, former boxer Amir Khan took Arthur Baterbiev's side on the decision, saying that he won the fight very close to like one or two rounds. He also believed that this was one of the best fights in many years. Listen, what a fight that was, honestly. When it comes down to, when it comes down to a fight, that was a, one of the best fights. Portugal, both fighters were the best of the best, best that could be. Uh, you can see they were all both ready. Unfortunately, there had to be a loser in there, and in my opinion, it would have been a good draw. But yeah, I did, I did lean more towards Arthur on, by when I watched the fight that he won the fight, maybe by one or two rounds. Yeah. On the other hand, Bevel compared Baterbiev's punches to Canelo's and said that the punch combinations that Arthur unloads can be very fatal. On the other hand, Canelo puts all his energy into one punch. You know, he's not about... Mm, he has heavy punch and uh, it's very dangerous. No, he's about how strong he is and he's uh, not only one punch. When he's trying to punching, combinations. combinations. Yeah. All punches in the combinations are heavy. Yeah. You know, it's not. Uh, I could compare like with the Canelo. Yeah, mm -hmm. he put all his energy, all his power on single punch. Yeah, Canelo. And yeah, maybe maybe single punch sometimes he's harder, Canelo. Yeah, than than better beef, no because better beef didn't didn't yeah, like do like up. yeah. Better beef was more like close yeah, and compact. Yeah, yeah yeah compact moreover baterbiev shared that he is super critical of himself and he could have done better even when he looks at his previous fights he said that luck played a huge part in his wins and he can always improve you know if be honest i always more critic of myself and uh, even all my uh, last 20 fights I'm because of her luck, I win them by QO. I'm always complain about my skills, performance, you know. That's why I'm not, I don't like what I did. I mean, I want to do more better always. Meanwhile, legendary boxing trainer Teddy Atlas shared that the fight was super close and he thought that there were rounds that Baterbiev stole really late. Hey, hey. I had a very close fight, a lot of close rounds, a lot of close rounds. I thought there were rounds that really that all the better be actually stole late or, or took late, closed the show late. And Teddy Atlas said that he understood why the fight could have gone either way, but revealed that he had Baterbi of winning by one round. Atlas commented, close fight, a lot of close rounds. I can see why people are conflicted. You know what? I'm not going to judge anyone. I judge the fight, but I'm not going to judge anyone because I get it subjective in certain ways. There's two ways to look at it. Two fighters, close fight, a lot of close rounds. In the final verdict that Atlas gave, he shared that he saw Baterbiev win very closely. Teddy commented, I had it 115 to 113, Baterbiev. Yeah, because I thought he won the championship rounds. I thought it was a really, really tight fight. I thought that, as I often do, a fight like this comes down to geography. Who gets to own the geography? The place in the ring that suits their talents, strengths better than the other guy. Who gets to own that space, that real estate, if you will, more than the other guy? In the end, I thought very close and slight that Baterbiev did. On the opposite end, professional boxer Connor Ben said that Baterbiev was in full control of the fight and he did enough to prove his importance in boxing. Connor stated that Bivol had a few good rounds, but in the end he was broken down by Arthur. Everyone online saying Bivol, I'm watching that fight and I'm look, just watching it and Baterbiev's in control of the fight. Nothing Bivol front was front back was effective. He, you know, was applying pressure. He's not the fastest of stars, but he breaks your man down. And I believe he'd done enough to win. Definitely won the second half, in my opinion. Bibble had you know, a few good moments, but you could really see the wear and tear and Bibble slowing down. In my opinion, that's how I saw the fight. 
Connor further shared his opinion on the fight. I do think better be have won that fight. He won by a round, but then again, it's all down to who's watching you. I mean, and what you like, who you're a fan of. I think Baterbiev is a killer. I think he's patient. I think he's disciplined. The way he, you know, managed to stay the course. He may be losing rounds, but he stays the course and he stays disciplined in doing what he's got to do. Additionally, Roy Jones Jr. was the last undisputed light heavyweight champion in boxing, so he said that no one won the fight and he daringly called for another rematch between between the two boxers. What up? Being that I was the last unified undisputed champion, probably about 25 to 40 years ago, I don't know how long it was. Last night we had a very fantastic fight. A fight that I thought could have gone either way, uh, but you know, what happens happens. However it goes, nobody won nor lost the fight by four points. So that's ridiculous, which is why I say we need an immediate rematch. Both guys. Roy Jones further commented on the fight. Both guys did a lot to change, but Terbiev has shown me more than he has ever shown me before. He actually can box, and I was surprised. Bival was a very good defender, which we knew. He was a good counterpuncher, which we knew. He jumped out an early lead, but it all came down to that better Biev did finish the fight strong, and he came out stronger. So that's why I feel that the fight should be a draw. Former boxer Robert Garcia personally thought that Bival did enough to win the fight, claiming that he he was the one that landed the cleaner punches. In the fight and the scorecards. I thought it was a pretty close fight. Uh, it was a it was a fight that, uh, you know, depending on how you score it. Me, me personally, I thought uh, I thought Bivol pulled it up by, you know, five, you know, seven to five, very close. I thought he pulled it up. I thought he he, he won the first three rounds. I think uh, uh, with his combinations moving around, and I, and I think he still won a few more rounds after that. You know, <coughs> using that you know that technique. You know, you know, beating him to the punch. And uh, in the late rounds, there was a few moments where where he where he would, we, he was able to back him up, and that was, that's when he was a little successful. But but Bruno Brief kept putting pressure, and 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 even though Bivol was blocking a lot. He was, he was, he stayed busy, he stayed busy throwing punches. So I'm pretty sure that's why the judge has seen it. But me personally, you know, I think the most effective punches, the the, the, the better punches that landed were, were Bivold, uh, in, in Bivold's favor. So that's why I, I thought he pulled it off, but it was close. It could have, you know, it could have gone either way. One judge had to draw, so, you know, it depends on how you see it. I, I like I told you, I like I'm telling you, I personally thought Bivold pulled it off, but, you know, it could have gone either way. I'm not, I'm not, disputing it was a robbery or anything like that. It was a close fight. Furthermore, promoter Frank Warren was a neutral fan watching the fight go down, and he thought that Bivol won the fight. Frank also shared that Dimitri was doing super well until he stopped controlling the fight in the later rounds. Well, I was a neutral, and, it, and I was watching the fight, and it was a close fight. It was a close fight. I thought Bivol won, but I thought, but it was a close fight. But as you say. We said it was technical and there were moments in it where Bivol was controlling it with his jab and then he stopped. In addition, Frank Warren insisted that Bivol won the fight as he landed enough clean shots to secure the win. Warren added, but having said that cracking, I thought it was a cracking fight. I really enjoyed it. I did, you know, just two absolute quality fighters giving their all. Um, but as I say me, I thought, I thought Bivol won the fight. Furthermore, Teddy Atlas commented on the swing rounds of the fight. Atlas said big punching Baterbi was doing enough to impress the judges in the final minute. Bivol threw one too many. Bang, he got caught. And then Baterbiev does what he does. What did he do at the end? He closes the show. I hate to use the term stole rounds because that cheapens what they both did, but Baterbiev took a couple rounds late by closing the round strong. After displaying an incredible performance in the ring against a true monster like Baterbiev, Dmitry Bivol said that he would love the chance for a rematch if the fans want it. I think about uh, rematch, uh, we should ask uh, boxing fans, do they want this rematch? Yes. Yes. If they want, I, yes. I would like to give uh, this rematch and I would like to get this chance, of course, again. After his fight, Bivol had some comments of his own on how he was feeling. Bivol added, I feel empty emotionally now. I went to the ring only to win this fight, but I don't have my belt. I don't think about did I win or did I lose. I have to do everything perfect. From my side, I'm trying to do everything perfect, everything amazing, but I didn't. I'm trying to forget about it and move forward now. Dimitri 
Henry Bivol's response was humble after his fight and said that he lost the fight, which should be an indication of moving on. I don't like excuses. I feel shame if I try to explain to you why I didn't win this fight. I didn't win, and that's it. Dmitry Bivol described Artur Baterbiev's power when he went face to face with him in the ring. He has very strong punches. I felt his right hand even through my left. My thumb is swollen because I was holding it on my head and he was beating on my hand. I felt like my hand came inside of my head from the power. Additionally, Eddie Hearn said that he would definitely like the chance for a rematch to happen since His Excellency Turkey Alal Sheikh said so himself. Yeah, I mean, His Excellency said wrong decision, we do a rematch. So that's what we know he's a man of his word. We know he's supported Dimitri Bivol. We thank him so much, not just for the opportunities for Dimitri Bivol, but what he's given boxing tonight by making that fight. And there has to be a rematch because Arta better be a, they, you know, he, there's always going to be the controversy of that fight. Adding to the ongoing debate on the rematch, Dimitri Bivol has welcomed His Excellency Turkey Alal Sheikh calling for an Arter Baterbiev rematch next. It makes me happy. Now it depends on Baterbiev's wishes. Does he want this fight or he doesn't want this fight? Let's hope. Eddie Hearn believes that his fighter won Saturday night's fight and also shared a post on his social media with Dimitri Bivol. Even Dimitri Bivol's manager, Vadim Kornilov, has declared that they will be filing an official protest over the Arter Baterbiev defeat, specifically Powell Cardini's 116 to 112 scorecard. We're gonna file a protest on Monday. I think the judge has to at least have some kind of responsibility for what he did. It's becoming very destructive to the sport what they're doing. These sanctioning bodies have supervisors. The supervisors are friendly with the judges. They're hugging the promoters. It's beginning to look like a scheme. One of the supervisors was tapping the top ranked guys and congratulating them before the decision was announced. What is that about? What kind of buddy-buddy relationship do they have there? Where is the professionalism of the sport? In addition to all the reactions in support of Bivol, he himself shared that everyone should accept the result and just move on. A professional boxer Devin Haney took Arter's side in the decision and said that it was a really close fight which shouldn't be declared a robbery. On the opposite end of the puzzle, top ranks Carl Moretti responded to Dimitri Bivol's team claiming the decision was a robbery. Look at Arter face and then look at Bivol's face. Something was hitting him. It wasn't a ghost. Artur Baterbiev said after the fight that he felt he had hurt Dmitry Bivol, but he said he didn't hurt him enough during their undisputed light heavyweight championship fight last Saturday night. The underdog Baterbiev started slow, getting caught up fighting Bivol's game of boxing him in the first five rounds, but when he adjusted to his power style in the sixth, the fight changed. He put Bivol on the run, bruised up his left eye, and controlled the second part of the fight. Boxing analyst Gareth A. Davies said that there should be a rematch to decide the champion once and for all. Gareth added, he's got to be more active later in the fight, come forward more, put more pressure on Baterbiev, and be more eye-catching. It should be an immediate rematch. It should be in five or six months' time. Actor Mario Lopez reacted to Baterbiev's win against Bivol. Professional boxer Terence Crawford, boxing analyst Steven Espinoza, and boxing trainer Mickey Bay have all given their shocking reactions to the Bivol versus Better Biev clash. Turkey Alal Sheikh supported both fighters and said that they did a tremendous job in giving the fans an entertaining fight and shared some photos with both boxers. As the fireworks of Saturday night have ended, who did you pick as the winner? How soon can we see a rematch? We would love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe for more content like this.